Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge, it is thinking that makes what we read ours. I have always thought the actions of men the best interpreters of their thoughts. New opinions are always suspected, and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not common. We are like chameleons, we take our hue and the color of our moral character, from those who are around us. Parents wonder why the streams are bitter, when they themselves poison the fountain. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company, and reflection must finish him. Being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. To love truth for truth's sake is the principal part of human perfection in this world, and the seed plot of all other virtues. Revolt is the right of the people. No man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. There is frequently more to be learned from the unexpected questions of a child than the discourses of men. So that, in effect, religion, which should most distinguish us from beasts, and ought most peculiarly to elevate us, as rational creatures, above brutes, is that wherein men often appear most irrational, and more senseless than beasts themselves. The Bible is one of the greatest blessings bestowed by God on the children of men. It has God for its author, salvation for its end, and truth without any mixture for its matter. It is all pure, all sincere, nothing too much, nothing wanting. To prejudge other men's notions before we have looked into them is not to show their darkness but to put out our own eyes. All wealth is the product of labor. The great question which, in all ages, has disturbed mankind, and brought on them the greatest part of their mischiefs, has been, not whether be power in the world, nor whence it came, but who should have it. Our business here is not to know all things, but those which concern our conduct. What worries you masters you? Reverie is when ideas float in our mind without reflection or regard of the understanding. Few men think, yet all will have opinions. Hence men's opinions are superficial and confused. A sound mind in a sound body, is a short, but full description of a happy state in this world. He that has these two, has little more to wish for, and he that wants either of them, will be little better for anything else. One unerring mark of the love of truth is not entertaining any proposition with greater assurance than the proofs it is built upon will warrant. Fortitude is the guard and support of the other virtues. Men being, as has been said, by nature, all free, equal and independent, no one can be put out of this estate, and subjected to the political power of another, without his own consent. New opinions are always suspected, and usually opposed, without any other reason but because they are not already common. Whosoever will list himself under the banner of Christ, must, in the first place and above all things, make war upon his own lusts and vices. It is in vain for any man to usurp the name of Christian, without holiness of life, purity of manners, benignity and meekness of spirit. Nothing is in the intellect that was not first in the senses. There are a thousand ways to wealth, but only one way to heaven. No peace and security among mankind, let alone common friendship, 
can ever exist as long as people think that governments get their authority from God and that religion is to be propagated by force of arms. In transgressing the law of nature, the offender declares himself to live by another rule than that of reason and common equity. The most precious of all possessions is power over ourselves. Personal identity depends on consciousness not on substance. It is ambition enough to be employed as an underlaborer in clearing the ground a little, and removing some of the rubbish which lies in the way to knowledge. Who are we to tell anyone what they can or can't do? For it will be very difficult to persuade men of sense that he who with dry eyes and satisfaction of mind can deliver his brother to the executioner to be burnt alive, does sincerely and heartily concern himself to save that brother from the flames of hell in the world to come. Now, I appeal to the consciences of those who persecute, wound, torture, and kill other men on the excuse of religion whether they do this in a spirit of friendship and kindness. Thank you for watching, please subscribe for more life-changing quotes.